YouTube family, thank you again for watching this month's uh, video tips on eye care. This, um, this time I'm going to talk about color blindness. A lot of people is thinking about what is color blindness? Does color blindness meaning that the person cannot see color at all? Meaning that the color TV become a black and white TV. There was a lot of people's common um, misconception. Color blindness is not totally a blindness at all. It's a deficiency in a way that when they're seeing different color, they have problem distinguishing certain color, certain hue of color. So for example, total color blindness is rare. We have color deficiency or color insufficient, but the condition is more frequent in male than in female. And then red-green color deficiency is more common form. And again, um, sometimes a person can inherit a trait reduce the ability to see blue or yellow hue. And interestingly is blue-yellow color deficiency is, you know, again, affecting both men and women equally. Again, blue-yellow deficiency, equal chance for men and women. Red-green predominantly is on a men population. So what does color blindness, quote and quote, color blindness means is they who have a hard time distinguishing certain colors. Say that we have example here. We have, again, green color there, they would perceive that as yellow. And then when you have a shoes, that we are talking about red, green color blindness there. We have a shoes that is red color, they would perceive them as yellow. So in other words, for a normal color perception people, at the top they are all different, but for a red, green color perception problem, they all look the same. So that's why when you're looking at people wearing dressing differently, it's because, again, think about how funny it is when you have a yellow shirt and green cap and a red shoes. To them, it matches perfectly. But in the real life, when you look at that, it's kind of like a lollipop. I want you to also understand what caused color blindness. Again, it's because of the rot and cone inside the eye. The photoreceptor have rot and cone. Rot are mainly um, for shape of motion. However, the cone receptor, there's about six to seven millions of cone receptors in the retina responsible for color. And they believe that we have different cone receptor for different color saturation at the macula, mainly concentrate at the center part of the eye called macula. Again, most of the color blindness are inherent, okay? There's also some diseases will cause color blindness, such as Parkinson's disease that is acquired. Later on, you also notice that those population also have some color deficient. Cataract, because of the lens, instead of crystal clear, they have some yellow tinge to it. They also can cause some color uh, saturation problem. And then certain medication uh, for epilepsy also were able to cause color deficiency. They can be acquired, but majority of the color blindness are genetically inherited. They can also have some other uh, diseases, inherited diseases like Leibers, uh, common uh, syndrome, they are all genetic condition that's uh, caused by your family. The interesting thing is color blindness occur more in boys and who are Caucasian. So it's basically in a specific group. When you look at the, the population here, you notice that when you're looking at um, the incidence, the prevalence of um, color blindness, white guy you know, in a male population, they occur more, about 6%. Asian, Hispanic, Black, as you go down, you notice that in a Black population, they have much less color blindness than other race. Because why? It's all genetic passed down one generation to the other. Another interesting thing is, what can we do about color blindness? Is this something that we have to live with or is there anything I can do to make my life easier? Now, most people are able to adapt to color deficiency with not too much trouble, unless they are in an environment, in a job that require them to see precisely different color, such as you're assembling a different color wire in the machine, in the airplane, they have different color wire in the fiber optics industry, they need to have different color to connect to each other. So what can you do about you know, helping you to overcome the color blindness? They have special lenses that were able to help you to restore your color function. Now again, I'm not talking about 
you are using it all the time, but you are able to use certain type of lenses, contact lenses or eyeglasses lenses, able to restore the ability for you to see red color, green color, blue and yellow again. So don't be despair if you feel like, hey, I want to do something. And so you can have choices of glasses or contact. What's the difference is, of course, when you wear glasses, they do have different tints on the lenses. So sometimes in the social environments may not be that attractive. So contact lenses, when you put the tint on the contact lenses, people can hardly know you are wearing color corrected um, contact lenses. So any question, let us know. We were able to again do a simple test about your severity and then able to prescribe the right type of glass or contact lenses to help you to restore your color vision. Thank you again and have a healthy life.